Hey, Yowen, it's time to pay tribute to more lucky people. Oh, no, he's being kidnapped. No, he's being saved. He's lucky that tradie was running late to work. That was very similar to this video sent in to me, except this fella doesn't have a tradie saving him. He's in charge of his own destiny. Why? <laughs> he's lucky the bin hit a curb, isn't he? Meanwhile, over at the classic American subway, the roof is being a fuckwit. That was extremely dodgy from whichever angle you look at it. Fair dinkum reeks of dodginess. She's like, okie dokie pig in a pokey. I'm gonna continue my day. I'm not gonna think about how I almost died. Actually, someone needs to have a conscience about this. Maybe I should call a government worker? After calling a government worker and probably getting no reply, she decides to go on the telly. She's like, yeah, nah, yeah, what's the deal with shit ceilings? Like, catching public transport shouldn't result in nearly becoming a pancake. Oh no, a weightlifting video. These are uncomfortable to watch even when they go well. He's butchering it. Oh, that is the closest thing I've ever seen to a fatal, fatal shit mixing in a long time. Ooh, this fella is lucky because he has clean clothes. That's always a fresh feeling. He opens the door with ease, uses his foot wisely, and exits homeward bound. I guess I thought this video was worth including because it shows the mundanity of everyday life. And that's beautiful when you take a moment to think about it. We all get so busy, we never take- Oh, hey, explosion! Fuck me upside down. Lucky he left. Here's a dad and his kid out and about killing time and there's a mid-size SUV looking to kill them! That kid is gonna feel pretty good about having a dad. I tell you what, when they're switched on, Dads absolutely pay dividends. The shopkeeper is thinking, bugger me, not again. Here's another guy on a footpath. I don't know if he has a kid. I don't need to know. That was fucked. The only unlucky thing for him is that his thong appears to be broken. Flip flop, not G-string. Mind you, if he was wearing a G-string, that probably snapped too. He walks off with his new mate to go grab a mid-strength beer. Cut to the world's worst circus. Don't you trust me? Yells the stranger. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm calling this young man lucky because he listened to his gut. He knew budget David Copperfield was an idiot and he listened to his gut which told him to move his head. Not everyone can do that. I would have stood there being like, I'll trust this nice man with a bag of knives. I'm a people pleaser you see so I would have died to make him feel good. Anyway, most days we don't realise how lucky we are, how close to death we get, our hair points up to the sky and that's funny whether or not mother nature Nature is about to roast your ass with a lightning bolt. Doesn't matter. Enjoy the funny. <laughs> Look at the hairs. Ah, dear me. Let's not think about death. See ya.